Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a deep techno acid sound in SAR and it sounds like this. Alright, that's pretty much it. If you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this patch and see how it's being created. First thing to point out is the acid sound is really going to be this EQ that I brought up here so we can see this uh, modulating back and forth. So for now, let's disable this automation here and turn this off. So it would generally sound like this. So generally still the acid type of sound, but with this EQ here, it sounds a lot more acidy. You can never have too much acid, guys. That's really the takeaway of this video. So the beginning, the level is going to be minus 6.6. .6. The panning is going to be straight up and down. For the envelope, the attack is going to be 0 0.001. The decay, 0.597. And the uh, sustain, 0%. And the release is going to be just a little bit at 0 0.029. The transpose is going to be minus 12, so down one octave. And no change on the fine tuning. For the glide, both of these, uh, these switches are going to be on. And the glide time is 10%. For the unison section here, the mono and the octave switch are going to be down, but we are going to be re-triggering these unison voices here, which gives an interesting sound to it. So if this was off, let's turn this off here. We get an interesting sound, but we don't really get that attack, I guess you would call it. So listen to the difference between re-triggering and not re-triggering. So this is off, and this is on. Kind of get that thumpness a little bit more to it. And we can see that here in the spectrum view as well. So make sure to keep that one on. We're going to be using eight voices of unison and the detuning is 28% and the panning is going to be 17%. So we don't really want all these voices spread out too much. We're kind of giving them a little bit more focus because too much is a little much. So this is 17% and listen to full. It sounds nice when it's full, but it's not really as focused, I felt. So I brought it down here to 17 to kind of give it, like I said, a little more focused type of sound. So moving on to the oscillator section, the noise is going to be 27%. The seek frequency is going to be 0 0.2. And this light is going to be on here because it's a nice, interesting sound. So here's the difference between that. You can really give some rich harmonic content. So for the subsaw, we're going to be using 66% of the level and the phase is going to be 100%, but it's actually not really a saw. It's going to be a square because we have this little button up right here. It's going to be re-triggering kind of very similar up here. And the invert's going to be off because we didn't need to invert it. The volume or not the volume, the pitch is going to be 0.5 octaves and the detune is going to be significantly at 54%. The cutoff here is going to be 89%, the resonance 11%, keyboard tracking and velocity tracking are going to be both down, and we're using the LP12 for the filter here. We're not going to be using a filter envelope here, so this is down, so we can skip over this right here. We are going to be using some LFO here, so we're going to be modulating the cutoff here with an LFO. So we have this tempo synced at a rate of 2 over 16, the attack is 0, the release is at, should be at 10 here, and the amplitude's all the way up. So that's really what's moving this uh, this cutoff right here. So if we turn this down all the way. We have that moving as well. And not only that, so we're modulating this cutoff with an LFO right here at its full volume, but we're also going to be moving this resonance here back and forth. So there's going to be cutoff moving around, the resonance moving along. So yeah, that's kind of what gives that overall sound right here. For the effects, we have chorus here. The depth is going to be 49%, rate 25%, the mix 30%. The delay is going to be 2 over 16 for both sides, feedback 30%, depth 25%, low cut 0 high cut 65%, mix 38%. And the reverb is going to be off in this patch here. The arpeggiator is going to be on at a range of 2 octaves, and it's going to be going, to be going up. So now let's take a look at the external effects. So this is getting sent to an external reverb here. So this Valhalla reverb at just a little bit of amount here. So turning this off, it would sound like that. But we want to put it in a room, kind of make, bring it to life here. So let's turn that back on. And the final icing on the cake is going to be this modulation here of this, this little peak right here. So on the EQ, and I have the track right here. And let's turn this back on here. 
and all you really have to do is select how long you want to automate this uh, this parameter and for example this frequency right here this little green dial here we can see that wiggling around so you'd right click that and then create the automation clip which is going to put it here in your session and the interesting spot is here this is going to be a different type of wave so we can see this triangle is going up and down and up and down and up and down and if you don't know, you can always right click these nodes here and select different kinds of shapes. So this one is going to be on a wave. And then in the center here, you will see right here where you can grab it with your mouse. You can select up or down to change how fast this modulation is going to take place. So with that being said, that's pretty much how this patch is constructed. If you would like to download it for free, there's a link in the video description below. And let's play us out with this deep techno acid patch. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.